everyone, welcome to another Peachy's Mailbox. Um, it's kind of late, so excuse me if I'm kind of uh, seem a little tired, but uh, I just got finished watching one of Markiplier's mailbox videos, basically, where he opens stuff that he's gotten from fans. And as you know, I love making videos that are just like videos that I enjoy watching. So watching him do his unboxing video it made me so happy and it inspired me to actually open. I've got quite a pile piling up here. Uh, I, I still can't believe that you guys send me anything, but um, I have some letters, I have some boxes, some packages. So I wanted to just finally get these open. A couple of these have been sitting here for a couple weeks, so I really want to get these opened and see what's inside and just, you know, say thank you to you guys. So uh, let's get started. This first one says perishable and fragile, so let's hope it made it through the mail. Tape, tape, tape. My nemesis. Is this gonna be food? Well, there's two packages. There's two. Ooh, something. Oh god, I hope this isn't melted. There's a refrigeration pack in this one. Uh oh. That was a lot of thought going into trying to keep this cold. Oh! Someone told me about this. Aiku? Oh god, I can't say this. Tessi Mlexico? Oh gosh. Tess. Tessi Mlexico. Yeah. It is vanilla flavored marshmallow with strawberry jelly. Ooh, look how fancy. You open it up and it's like they're all in there. This is fancy. Okay, they don't look like they're ruined or anything. Oh my god, there's another layer! All right, I'm definitely gonna go and put these in the fridge, but let's just try one now. Just to say that I tried it. Okay, oh no, it's fine. Ooh, wow, chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. Oh my goodness, okay. So these are probably supposed to be kind of cold, but I'm gonna try one right now. Oh God, it smells so good. Mmm. Oh my goodness. That's an explosion of flavor. Oh my god. That's really good. It's like a dark chocolate around a vanilla marshmallow, but it's not like like too sugary of a marshmallow. It's like just just like not sugary enough. And then strawberry in the middle. And it's really good. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. I'm gonna put these in the fridge right after I'm done filming. Oh, I bet they're even better cold. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Oh, that's good. You were not kidding. Those are better than the Halloween Oreos I have downstairs. All right, I have a little package, and it is it has a Silurana symbol on the back. It's a little old. Oh, there's a note, and I'm gonna read the note first, and then there's a uh, a little little wrapping there. Dear Peachy, I found this Sailor Uranus figure in a flea market. I know it's not a big deal or a fig arts, but I know she is your favorite character. She is. So I send it to you as a token of gratitude for all of your videos. Your fan from Peru, Oscar. P.S. S is happening? Is it? I think this is optimistic. S is happening! Yes! Wow, you found it in a flea market in Peru? Oh, wow! That's not bad! Look, she's bendable! Look, she, she's- 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 it's like a mini figure arts! She's got bendable legs and bendable arms! Or even her head turns! She's like, posable! That's awesome! Thank you so much for thinking of me! Thank you, Oscar! She's so little! Alright, this is a much bigger package, so let's see what's inside here. <laughs> it's Christmas wrapping paper inside. It's an early Christmas present. I know it's not shoes. It's in a shoe box. Ah. Five dollar dolls. Obscure and custom dolls for just five dollars. Ooh, this packaging is so soft. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Uh-huh. There's a little printout of the, uh, of the original Sailor Senshi. Oh my goodness, there's multiple dolls in here. There is a letter that I will read first. There's a cute little, a little bald bearded sailor. Dear Aurora Peachy, my name is Shao Kahn, like Mortal Kombat. I make dolls. I would like to thank you for bringing a smile to my face. I love your Sailor Moon videos. Sailor Moon is a story I will never forget, and because of your reaction videos, I have a new memory. I have new memories. I made you two dolls, Sailor Moon in Sailor V fashion, from my fanfiction collection. 
and Sailor Aurora Peachy. Because you are a Sailor Soldier, your fans agree. Peace and blessings from Shao Kahn, August 1st, 2015. Wow. I love handwritten letters. That is so cool. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my gosh. This is so intricate. What is this made out of? It's like a paper mache? It's so animated. Oh my god. This is so unique. <laughs> I have never seen a doll more animated. Holy cow. She's got the face and the mask and the bow. I love this skirt. I love how the skirt is like, it, it, it's, oh my gosh. That is crazy! Oh my god, thank you! That is a unique art style for sure. Oh wow, look at that! And then this is a completely different style. I love the little tiara, look at that. Oh my god, okay, so it's me! It's Sailor Aurora Peachy! I love the buttons! It's got, I mean, it's full of beans. It's got the little skirt, it's got the boots, and the skirt, and the bow, and little beads. It's painted, oh my god! That is intricate. I love it! Shao Kahn is actually one of my patrons as well. I remember checking out Shao Kahn's Etsy page, and it basically said that, um, you know, not everybody can afford these fancy figure arts and, you know, go to the store and buy a doll for $25, $35. You know, not everybody can afford that, but everybody deserves to have a cute little doll to play with. And um, so that's why he sells them for $5 and makes them by hand. And I thought that was absolutely awesome. So I will put a link down in the description that, where you guys can go to the Etsy page and check out the $5 dolls. Thank you so much for the Shao Kahn. This is so cool. I love this. This is so unique. Thank you so much. All right, I have one more actual package, but before then, I have a couple letters. Um, before I get to a letter that I was actually sent, um, I wanted to say an extra special thank you to Burger Tank as well as Hungry Cricket. Um, I, I get sent a ton of messages and emails, um, nice messages through Twitch, through Patreon, um, and. Thank you to every single person who even, even if you just make a comment in Twitch chat while I'm streaming, I appreciate every single comment. Um, the ones that are, that are a little more, are longer and a little more, um, you know, heartfelt and, and, you know, I'm really, you know, tell me how, how, uh, my content has changed your life. You know, it, I really feel that so much and how that's helped. Uh, my dream come true because my dream is to keep making content to make you happy and brighten up your day and and I just wanted to tell you guys that I I take the time to um, to, to print these out and I'm gonna get like a binder or something to put all these in because I, I want to save these and I want to remember you know if I'm if I'm doing this in 5 10 20 years I, I want to remember the beginnings I want to remember the people who who were here with me when I was first starting and, and first, you know, making this dream come to life. So I, I just wanted to give a special thank you to you guys and to let you know that, that that's something that means so much to me that I'm, I, I'm taking the extra care to remember you guys and remember all of these amazing letters and stories that you take the time to write to me. So thank you. And then I got a mess, a, a letter uh, in the mail from Alicia. Oh, it's handwritten. Oh my gosh. Look at all this. Are you gonna make me cry? Dear Peachy, first I would like to introduce myself. My name is Alicia and I'm 15 years old and live in Georgia. I am writing to you to thank you for all you have done for me. Your positive attitude and wonderful personality always make me feel better. I struggle with depression and anxiety and you have made all the difference in the world. I've been going to counseling regularly and take medication, but I was helped the most when I found your videos. I was never really confident in who I was, I very much kept to myself. I went through a very rough time where my depression and anxiety were the worst they had ever been. Something I have loved for a long time has been anime. When I expressed an interest in anime to my friends when I was younger and they put me down for it constantly. I had no one that shared the same interests as me, so I thought that I was wrong for liking anime. I. I went through that too in high school. So watching anime and reading manga was something I did in secret, almost like it was illegal. 
It's so stupid looking back on it that I hid my interests, not only this, but everything. Books I liked, movies, video games, everything, out of fear of being judged when I was around other people. I was a completely different person and I was so unhappy. When I found one of your Sailor Moon Crystal reaction videos, it was by complete accident and it had been one of the best things to ever happen to me. I know it may seem silly that that video had such a big impact on me, but it did. You helped me understand that it's okay to be me. I can like any music, movies, books, TV shows, anime. I shouldn't be sorry for being who I am. You helped me gain confidence. Me from a year ago wouldn't even recognize me now. Thanks to you, I'm able to be unapologetically myself. I can smile and be confident in who I am. I'm able to sit in class with my peers and I honestly it is the best feeling in the world to know that things do get better. I appreciate everything you do, the time and effort you put into your videos. Also, how often do you do Twitch streams? You replying to people on social media. It's amazing how much you do, so thank you. I really wish I could have sent you something as a thank you. This is more than enough. I want to thank you once again from the bottom of my heart for being someone who can always make me smile or laugh when I'm feeling my worst. Thank you so much. Much love, Alicia. Sorry for writing so much. I had a lot to say. I didn't think it would be three pages. This is exactly why I do what I do. Thank you so much for knowing that I'm making my dream come true. This is what I want to do. I want to be there for you guys, and I want to help you be happy, especially everybody who's going through anxiety and depression. See, I went through the same thing growing up in, in middle school and high school, especially once I started getting into things like anime, and, and I've always been into video games, but I got into them even more in high school, and I felt like I wanted to share that with people, but I felt like I couldn't because I felt like I was going to be ridiculed for it, I was going to be made fun of, I was made fun of for liking anime and video games and card games and all that kind of stuff that was considered geeky or nerdy, and I was made fun of for it. And so I'm exactly like you, where I tried my best to hide it. I would write fan fiction, but I would, you know, hide behind, you know, put my arm around so nobody could see what I was writing because I was embarrassed while I was in public, when I, I was never ashamed of doing it because I knew that I loved it and so thus it was okay, but I knew that other people who didn't understand would, would tease me for it and that would make me feel bad, so I just hid it. And I guess I'm lucky that I never got so far as to being truly depressed or having panic attacks or anything like that, but I can most certainly see how that could have got to someone who was maybe not as strong-willed. I've always been strong-willed and I guess I can be thankful for that. That doesn't mean that it didn't get to me because obviously the teasing and me being made fun of did get to me. That's why I hit it. But I guess I'm lucky that it never got to that point and maybe that's why I'm able to do what I do now. If I can be, if I can help, people who are like me going through that right now, then that's all I want to do. I want to, that's all I want to do. I want to keep doing this and to know that it's actually helping people is the best thing that I could ask for. So thank you to people like Alicia and Cricket and Burger and everyone who let me know firsthand and that it's helping you and these are just the people this is just the small percentage that actually takes the time to write to me so I know that there's others out there like us who are going through this <laughs> like like Alicia said know that it gets better know that you're not alone and it's okay to like the things that you like it's okay to be you for me the transition from high school to college. Uh, once I got to college, I was surrounded by 
friends who were into the exact same thing that I was, who openly played Magic of the Gathering in the middle of the student center and were unashamed of it, and it was wonderful. So, you know, if you're in grade school and you're really feeling that, you know, there's no guarantee that it's gonna get better when you get to, you know, if you go to college or something like that, but know that there's people out there who will accept you and who are exactly like you. It may take you some time to find them in real life, but know that you can find them online and just that they exist and that it's okay. Thank you so much to Alicia for writing me this letter. Sometimes it's hard for me to start a conversation like this out of nowhere, but when you write me a letter like that, it's very easy for me to go back and think of myself in high school and those experiences. And it's not that I've tried to block them out because they are a part of who I am, but being kind of forced to remember them makes makes this come out, makes these words come out. So thank you for being the catalyst to that. And hopefully, hopefully through this, we can help just as many people, if not more than the last video helped. So thank you so much for that. Thank you, Alicia. <sighs> All right, now that I'm sufficiently... <clears throat> okay. <laughs> I saved one package for last, and it's a fun pink one, so let's end on a super happy note. This is from Tuxedo Mark. <sighs> Sniffly. Thank you so much for putting it in a pink package. This is awesome. Oh. Uh-oh. I see, like, DVDs. Oh, I'm so sniffly. There's a picture of a kitty! <gasps> She's so cute! Ah, ah! It's got two different colored eyes. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Oh, and there's a kitty sticker. Oh, look at this. Look at this. It's so fun. Dear Peachy, thank you for doing your videos. Whenever they're posted, they become the highlight of my day. I have sent you two DVDs of classic animated Superman theatrical shorts from the 1940s. I don't know if you're into classic animation, Looney Tunes, Woody Woodpecker. I watched all that stuff growing up. I have also sent you a picture of my cat because he's awesome. His name is Mishu, which is Polish for bear cub. Cool. He's my best friend and my own Artemis. Be well, stay safe, and keep doing what you're doing. You bring joy to many people's lives. Keep on peachying. Takes you to mark and look. Look at the kitty with the balls of yarn. Aw, oh, he's so cute. He does look like Artemis. Cool. Uh, I have definitely, like, Looney Tunes, Woody Woodpecker, can't think of any more right now off the top of my head, but I definitely watched all those growing up. They were, like, s part of the Saturday morning cartoons, and so I remember all those. Tom and Jerry, um, you know, Tasmanian Devil, Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, Woody Woodpecker. I, yeah, I watched all those growing up. I'm not that old. I wonder if those are still on TV today. But this is so cool! Thank you so much for this! <sighs> I'm so glad I, I got inspired to do this tonight. Thank you to Mark Markiplier. He's another one that, um, you know, is just so inspiring to so many people and makes them happy and just has that positive attitude. He does a lot of charity work and I want to start doing more of that. I've been uh, wanting to do a like a 12-hour charity stream. This will be another another drive to, to set that up and to do that. So I'll be announcing uh, probably on Twitter and, and everywhere that I can that I'm going to, you know, when I'm going to be doing that. Well, I am thoroughly exhausted now from the feels, you guys. Thank you so much to everybody who sent me something. Thank you to everyone who just watches this video, everyone who comments. Thank you so much. I get so many beautiful comments on these mailbox videos and I really I, I expected the usual internet hate from unboxing videos like this but I get nothing but love and that just shows how amazing this community is and, and how just being positive attracts so many positive people and remember that just in your daily lives too just be positive, be as confident as, as you're comfortable being, 
and positivity will come back to you. Karma is very, very real. So just be kind to people, be kind to others, and and people will be kind to you. It will all come back in turn. It will all come back. <sighs> Thank you guys so much. I really don't know what else to say. I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed, you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <sighs> Have a wonderful night, guys. And uh, I guess I'll see you in the next video. Take care of yourself. I love you. Bye-bye.